this is Loida from loveacrylicpainting.com and today we are going to be doing a painting on a dollar store budget. So let's get started and I'm going to show you all the items that I got at the dollar store. I also have another video where I actually went to the store and I filmed myself going through all the items that I found there to kind of pick and choose the ones that I wanted to use for this project. So if you're interested in taking a look at that video and how I made this kit, then go ahead and look for that link in the description below this video. So also make sure you subscribe and click the icon bell to get notifications whenever I make a new tutorial video. That way you can go ahead and also do your own projects and get some nice tips and tutorials to help you along the way. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the project because I am excited. I am excited to see what we're gonna get. Um, I'm not sure if these colors will work out. So we're just gonna have to go ahead and try it out and see for ourselves. So let me move my camera closer so you guys can see actually from a top angle. Okay, so now we are live and recording where we're going to start working on this project. So first of all, I'm going to open my canvas. We're going to set that on top of this. So this I already had um, and I'm just going to use it for the sake of this video because I already had this and you know what? We're gonna go the cheap way. Since this is a dollar store video, dollar store budget video, we're just gonna go the cheap way. So we're gonna actually take out cups. And just so you know, you can also get a cookie sheet from the dollar store or a pan, you know, a pan to like roast your turkey or whatever and use that to catch the paint in case you don't want to use the tablecloth. So that is another option. So we're gonna use our cups and we are going to put our painting right on top of the cups. Now, let's open all of these. Okay, here are our sticks. I'm just going to use a few of these. Let's use our poster paint. I'm dropping all the paints here, but I have, I'm just going to use the white and the black. So that's what we're going to do. We have our lubricant, okay, and we have our other two paints and our glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring, let me move this out of the way to show you how we mix the paints. So I'm going to do four cups one for each color. And I'm going to pour some of this glue on each cup, in each cup. I wanna make sure I get enough on all of them. Okay, so I put about that much glue in each. Now I'm gonna put some paint. I don't know the con consistency of these paints, so I'm gonna start by adding a little bit and stirring and adding more depending on how I see the consistency of the paint.
this looks like it's a little bit thick. Um, it's thicker than my other paints, than the regular paints I buy, but you know, that's good because you don't need then that much paint. You're just gonna need a little bit and it'll last you longer. You'll be able to use that for other projects. So now we're gonna put some yellow here. Some white on this one. And I don't think I'm gonna be using actually black now that I think about it. Um, black sometimes tends to darken the paintings and I want this to be like a bright colored painting. Um, and you know what? This paint is actually a little bit more liquidy than these ones. So I'm probably gonna use more of this than the other ones. So with this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna use a blue. So let's mix it and it is really thick. Now, when I'm looking at the paint right now, it is super, super thick. So I'm gonna have to use some water to get the right consistency. I don't have distilled water, so I'm just gonna use normal tap water. And let me show you what I have so far. So that's the consistency of the paint. Okay, we have our paints mixed. Now let's get started with the fun part. So, I'm gonna put this in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna mix all of these colors in another separate cup. I'm gonna start pouring the white I don't want to use all of all of the paint. Um, then I'm gonna go with blue. Then we're gonna do yellow and at the very end we are doing purple. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of lubricant. And you know what? I might add a little bit of more white. More yellow. More spray. And blue. And purple. Okay, all done. Let's flip this cup and see what we get. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, so I don't know if I wanna like lift it up or drag it. Let's just drag it across and let it go. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so Let's let it run for a little bit and we're gonna just pour the paint off really quickly. And I didn't get gloves, but that's okay. Okay, well, let's leave it for a bit. And as you can see, there are some areas that are bare right here. That doesn't usually happen with my regular canvas, the ones that have been previously primed. So what you could actually do is give it a nice coat of white paint before you actually do the, 
the paint pouring um, and then pour your paint on top of that. That's one option you could do. Or just kind of a, try to fill in the spots with one of these sticks and by picking up the paint that is underneath. And like I said, this is a dollar, you know, dollar store project. It's mostly to just, you know, get you started and get you dipping your toes into this form of art to see if it's something that you like and without spending a bunch of money. So um, it serves the purpose. The colors ended up being very dull, specifically like the yellow. The yellow looked a lot brighter in the container, but once it got mixed with all the other paints, it didn't end up keeping that brightness. Um, so I'm not sure if it's because of the color combinations that, that I did, or it's just not a very good quality paint. You can see here that there are some areas where there is no paint, like the paint didn't stick there. Also right there, Well, there is your dollar store project. I hope you liked it and I encourage you to go ahead and start practicing with some of these dollar items just to be able to get some experience and once you think you have the hang of it, then go ahead and start purchasing more quality items, better quality canvas and better quality paints along with some extra items to add some glitter and sparkle to your beautiful paintings. So until my next video, Happy pouring with sparkles and all.